Welcome to Political Empire. This is Jeff Horseman with the Press Enterprise and PE.com. And today's show is going to focus on a couple of updates. Uh, one having to do with a story we brought you a while back about a uh, San Bernardino County Republican who was facing some heat for some remarks she made about uh, another woman seeking a higher office within the state GOP. Uh, and then we're going to shift to uh, what's going on with Lake Paris and the efforts to fund some improvements there. So uh, first, the San Bernardino County Republican Party committee member who made anti-Muslim and anti-Sikh remarks will receive a letter of reprimand from the county GOP, but will not be asked to step down from her post. In the days leading up to the March 2nd election for California Republican Party leaders, Vera Eisendorn railed against Harmeet Dillon, a Sikh woman from San Francisco who was a candidate for the state vice uh, chairmanship. Uh, now, uh, Ms. Dillon won, uh, but uh, Ms. Eisendorn said, I was to quote, I was told by one of Harmeet's friends that because of her religion, her loyalty is to the Muslim religion, so she'll defend a Muslim beheading two men without any hesitation. She is not a Republican, unquote. Now, uh, Eisendorn made these remarks on Facebook, and it should be noted that uh, Sikhism is a separate religion from, uh, from Islam, but Sikhs are often mistaken for Muslims. Uh, the executive committee of the county GOP decided at its meeting on March 21st to give Eisendorn a letter of rep reprimand and to move on. Uh, this according to county party, ch county party chairman, excuse me, Kurt Hagman. Uh, now we're going to talk about Lake Paris and the Metropolitan Water District has signed on to the Brown administration's plan to share costs of building a new dam at Lake Paris and to, to maintain fishing, boating, and other activities at the popular inland reservoir. Uh, but there was no sign that lawmakers are anywhere close to supporting the administration's proposal that the state kick in $92 million toward the project in recognition of the lake's recreational value. Now, Sacramento reporter Jim Miller has been following this story. Uh, Jim, remind us again of what this project's about and what the debate is over its funding. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jeff. Well, the lake has two purposes, uh, essentially, um, since it was opened um, in, in the 1960s. Uh, water supply and uh, also recreation. And so in repairing the dam at Lake Paris, uh, which um, state engineers concluded in 2005 uh, faces some uh, major structural problems um, and, and would possibly collapse in an earthquake. In, in fixing that dam, um, the, the question is how much do water suppliers pay and how much does the state i.e. taxpayers pay uh, for the recreation component. And in his January budget, um, uh, Governor Brown effectively said that, or effectively suggested a, a two-thirds, one-third split. Okay, now uh, what does the water district's decision mean to this whole process? The, yeah, the, the water d district... Um, or the representative of the water district who said at a recent Senate budget hearing that the the district was tentatively on board with the, the two thirds part of the equation um, is, you know, pretty significant. I mean, MWD is the largest of the water agencies that uh, uh, contract for water from Lake Paris. So when it says it's on board with the two thirds, um, you know, that's, that's a, a uh, significant, uh, pretty significant uh, development, but and it's a big but. That still leaves the proposed one-third state share, which translates, uh, like you were saying, into 90, ninety-two million dollars. And uh, you know that's a lot of money for what the you know in the words of of one of the the Senate staff reports, um, you know the, the the suggestion that that's ninety-two million dollars for what essentially is a a park redevelopment project. Um, that's uh, and so, you know, it's it's going to be interesting to see how the legislature resolves that issue. I mean, the worst case scenario for people who use the lake for recreation is that that they would drain the lake to reduce the threat of, of flood uh, flooding surrounding homes. But um, I think it's going to be playing out uh, all session. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jim, for your time. Appreciate it. And thank you for watching Political Empire. We'll see you next time.